guys. It is uh, opening day whitetail season here, so I did a little bit of hunting this morning. I thought I'd check a couple uh, bait sites while I'm here. I still got a little bit of bait, but when I came, there was probably 30 ravens. I flew off it, but I knew once I'd seen them flying out of the, the bush that there was a coyote in here. soft I almost think I well maybe he just feels soft because they've eaten them it's kind of the shits I've lost a few decent ones already this year but it kind of comes with it I guess Not sure how many browns I'm going to check today. I don't have very many days off to hunt whitetail. But it's kind of nice to see with the little bit of time that I spent hunting today. There's definitely more deer than there has been in the last couple of days or a couple of years. So it's nice to see that the population is maybe recovering. Hopefully we don't have uh, a bad winter this year, or a bad spring either. I almost don't want to set here anymore. I've caught a few here, or a couple here already this year, but it's kind of in the open here, and maybe I'm a little too close to my bait. I don't know. Um, they picked one here once. This is the second one, and they picked one over here. That was in the last video. You seen that one over there? So I'm going to check the rest, I guess, and. Maybe move on to one more bait bait site today. Well, <clears throat> we made it to the second bait. I got quite a bit of bait there, but I guess, I don't know, because it's frozen, these guys are thawed. But they have completely eaten this bugger. It just seems like such a waste of a good fur. I was here, I want to say the day before yesterday, I had checked, checked here in another spot, I had never caught anything since I had baited it, but, but like there's quite literally, there's nothing left of this guy, like, he probably would have been a good one by the looks of him. Not a very big coyote, but I caught a lot of bad ones off of here already this year, so.
You guys probably can't see that. I'll show you. It's a wolf ram using a coyote snare on it, so it's just shorter. But but you can see that's where it was set, and he drug it the anchor all the way out to here till he stopped. But yeah, that's kind of the shits. So we've got a few more in this bush, so I'm gonna check them. Well, I checked the rest of my snares. Not seeing any of them. This one's fired. So. Looks like I got a real bad catch on them. Maybe this loop was a little big or what? Unless I'm not seeing, oh yeah. I got a real bad catch on them. I caught them real deep in the chest, way too deep. My snare loop on this one, <coughs> I would assume was too big. That's why I caught them so deep. He must have been caught maybe t uh, this morning or last night. Mind you, it's not that cold either though. fence that over a little bit because this is where the trail was he obviously chewed it up a little bit made kind of a mess but I should be able to get one more set for sure out of here So that one little stick, it's going to kind of act like a, a chin stick to a certain extent. It should kind of keep his head up and over, keep him, keep him between the two trees and he should put his head right through the center of that snare. I just kind of threw a few sticks in there, I'm not really fencing it, but hopefully they, they stay on this trail. It snowed a little bit now as so you can't really see much of the trail, but... Okay, thanks. Well, we are at bait. We're at bait number three. No, bait number four, actually. I checked a few other ones and nothing. There's not even tracks and stuff. So, I'm almost thinking I'm going to pull out and start a few new baits. Ooh, he's bloated up. I've never had a kite that's been bloated before. Looks like a fair sized dog. Nice coat. This bush, it's my first year in this little area here. A farmer to the east of us, I guess, is having trouble with coyotes he had. Lost three calves this spring due to coyotes and stuff, so I'm trying to help them out. 
catch a few. I can't move too close to uh, his place simply because he's got dogs. So I'm going as close as I can, but either they're not here, haven't found my bait soon enough, or there's no coyotes, but I know there's coyotes. But I think I might be a little far, far from the cattle farm. But that's kind of the shit end of it, is I'm not able to get any closer, just because I don't want to catch his dogs. good size dog well I'm gonna leave him here because I'm pretty close to the truck and I'm gonna go check some more well I'm back home these are the two coyotes I got what four today the other ones are picked by birds real bad so the ones in the back there they were from the other day that I had caught I'm not gonna skin these here till later on in the week once I'm done deer hunting, I only got a few days off to go deer hunting, so I'm going to kind of focus on that. Check my snares here again in a couple days, but this dog is a pretty nice dog. It's fairly big. Looks like a nice color. I might actually keep this one. Maybe make some mitts or something out of them. But this guy's just a little guy. That's the one. I don't know if you can see that. You can see right here where I caught him. I'm actually surprised that that snare, the ram, put him down, being caught that far forward. I just hope he didn't suffer in that damn thing, that's all. But yeah, he did make a little bit of, little bit of a mess, so obviously he was alive for a little while, but... Can't always get a perfect neck shot. I know a guy tries, but this kind of stuff does happen, so... But yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Okay, thanks.